It may happen in a few minutes. It is necessary that you see it. In your life it may be very important. Many, millions are rushing into perdition. And they do not know about that. The time is coming to an end. And so many people do not know the truth. Ecuador, the 7th of November 2008, for a period of 23 hours in a state of death, an 18-year-old girl, Angelica Zambrano Mora, was shown the kingdoms of heaven and hell. At that moment, I heard the Lord's voice, a beautiful voice, the voice of thundering, the voice of love. And he said to me, Fear not, my daughter, for I am your God. And I have come here to show you what I have promised you. Arise, for I am the Lord, who holds you by your right hand and tells you, Fear not, I will help you. I could not see his face because it shined so much, but I could see his beautiful hair like that of brilliant gold and a white garment with a white golden girdle that crossed his chest and said, King of kings and Lord of lords. He was so beautiful. He extended his hand to me and I took his hand. And he said, I am going to show you hell, so that you can come back and tell humanity that hell is real, that hell exists. And also I will show you my glory, so that you can tell my people to get ready, for my glory is real, and I am real. And in the instant he said to me, daughter, don't fear. And I said, Lord, it's just that I want to go to heaven, but not to hell, because they say that hell is a very horrible place. He said, daughter, I will be with you. I will not leave you in that place. And I will show you that place, because there are many who know that hell exists, but they have no fear. They think it's a game, that hell is a joke, and there are many who don't know about it. That is why I will show you that place, because there are more that perish than those that enter my glory. When he told me these words, I could see tears running down his garments. I asked him, Lord, why are you crying? He replied, Daughter, because there are more that perish, and I will show you this so that you can go back and tell them the truth. Suddenly, as he was speaking, everything started to move. The ground began to shake and the earth split open. And I looked down and we were in a great height and I saw a very dark hole below. We were standing on a sort of rock with angels surrounding us. I said, Lord, I don't want to go to that place. And he told me, Daughter, do not fear, for I am with you. In a split second we descended into the dark hole. There was a tremendous darkness. I saw something big, a big circle, and heard millions of voices. I felt like my skin would burn. I felt a very high temperature. I asked, Lord, what's this? I don't want to go to that place, the Lord said that this was just a tunnel to hell. I said, Lord, please, I do not want to enter that place. I could smell a horrible, repulsive and nauseating odor. And I begged Jesus again not to take me there. He responded, Daughter, it is necessary that you go and know this place. I cried, But why, Lord, why? So that you can tell the truth to humanity. Humanity perishes, is being lost, and there are only few entering my kingdom. In saying this, he would weep. His words strengthened and encouraged me. So I continued walking. We arrived at the end of the tunnel. And when I looked down, I saw an abyss covered in flames. I said, Lord, I'll do what you want, but what I see now is a lot, Lord. I can see how the souls are being tormented and immense flames. 
Then the Lord took me to a place where there was a very well-known man. Before now, I used to live as a double-minded young Christian girl. I used to think that any person that died would go to heaven, that those who celebrated Mass would also go to heaven. But I was wrong. When Pope John Paul II died, my friends and relatives would tell me that he had gone to heaven. All the news on TV, on Extra and many other places would say, Pope John Paul II has died, may he rest in peace. He is now rejoicing with the Lord and his angels in heaven. And I believed all of it. But I was only fooling myself because I saw him in hell, being tormented by flames. I looked at his face. It was John Paul II. The Lord said to me, Look, daughter, that man that you see there is Pope John Paul II. He is here in this place. He is being tormented because he did not repent. But I asked, Lord, why is he here? He used to preach at church. Jesus replied, Daughter, no fornicator, no idolater, no one who is greedy and no liar will inherit my kingdom. I replied, yes, I know that is true, but I want to know why he is here, if he used to preach to multitudes of people. And Jesus responded, yes, daughter, he may have said many things, but he would never speak the full truth as it is. He never spoke the truth, and he did know the truth, but he preferred money over preaching about salvation. He would not offer reality, would not say that hell is real and that heaven also exists. And now he is here in this place. When I looked at this man, he had a large serpent with thorns wrapped around his throat, and he would try to take it off. I asked Jesus, Lord, help him. The man would scream, Help me, Lord, have mercy on me. Take me out of this place. Forgive me. Lord, I want to return to earth. I want to go back to earth to repent. The Lord looked at him and said to him, You very well knew. You knew very well that this place was real. It's too late. There is no other chance for you. The Lord said, Look, daughter, I'm going to show you the life of this man. Jesus showed me a huge screen on which I could observe how this man offered Mass many times to the multitudes, and how other people there were such idolaters. Jesus said, Look, my daughter, there are many idolaters in this place. Idolatry does not save my daughter. I am the only one who saves, and apart from me there is no one who saves. I love the sinner, but I hate sin, daughter. Go and tell humanity that I love them and that they need to come to me. As the Lord was speaking, I began to see how this man received multitudes of coins and bills, money, all of which he would keep. He had so much money. I saw images of this man seated on a throne, but I was also able to see beyond that. While it's true that the priests do not get married, I can assure you, I am not making this up. The Lord showed it to me. Those people committed sins with nuns and with many other women. The Lord showed me how these people lived in fornication, and the scripture says that no fornicator will inherit his kingdom. As I was watching all of this, the Lord told me, Look, daughter, all of this which I am showing you is what happens, keeps on happening among many of these people, among many priests and hierarchy. Daughter, go and tell humanity that it's time to turn back to me.